While everyone talks about Apple's flagship iPhones, the iPhone SE is perfect for those on a budget. If you're looking for an affordable iPhone, the SE is your go-to. The first iPhone SE debuted in 2016, and Apple updated it in 2020 and 2022 with more up-to-date hardware. Unlike the regular iPhone, which gets an update every year, the iPhone SE typically gets refreshed every couple of years, so a new iPhone SE for this year is possible. However, the situation with this model is more complex. Let's dive deeper. The first iPhone SE, released in 2016, borrowed its design from the iPhone 5S. The second and third generations, released in 2020 and 2022, respectively, adopted the iPhone 8's design. If rumors are true, the upcoming iPhone SE 4 might bring significant design changes. Speculation suggests a 6.1-inch screen similar to Apple's flagship iPhones, potentially resembling the older iPhone XR or the newer iPhone 14 design. The larger screen would mean the removal of the home button and touch ID, aligning the SE with its face ID equipped siblings. However, don't expect the dynamic island, the notch might make a comeback. Additionally, the iPhone SE 4 might inherit the action button from the iPhone 15 Pro and switch from Lightning to USB-C. Traditionally, all iPhone SE models featured LCD screens. However, the iPhone SE 4 might switch to OLED technology, offering deeper blacks and superior contrast. Since the iPhone 12, Apple has preferred OLED displays for its iPhones, so this would align the SE more closely with the flagship models while maintaining a lower price point. The current iPhone SE 3, released in 2022, runs on the A15 Bionic chip from the iPhone 13 series. The iPhone SE 4 might feature the A16 chip or even the A17 if it launches in 2025. There are also whispers about Apple developing its own 5G chip, potentially for the iPhone SE 4, following its acquisition of Intel's modem business in 2019. We can expect at least 64 GB of storage, with options up to 256 GB. Previous iPhone SE models have always featured a single lens camera setup, which will likely continue with the iPhone SE 4. However, the camera resolution might be boosted to 48 MP from the current 12 MP. Details about the selfie camera's resolution remain unknown. A major drawback of the iPhone SE has been its battery life due to its compact size. For example, the iPhone SE 3 has a 2018 MA battery, which falls short compared to flagship models. If the iPhone SE 4 adopts the iPhone 14 design, there could be more space for a larger battery. Additionally, an OLED display would demand more power, necessitating a larger battery. Coupled with a newer A-series chip, which could offer better energy efficiency, we might see improved battery performance overall. When the iPhone SE debuted in 2016, it seemed like a one-off. The next version didn't appear until 2020, followed by another in 2022. Following this pattern, a 2024 release seems likely. However, rumors have been mixed. Initially, analyst Ming-Chi Kuo suggested that the iPhone SE 4, originally slated for 2024, was scrapped. Later, Quo revised this, indicating the project might be back on track but possibly delayed until 2025. The release timing remains uncertain. As for pricing, there has been little speculation. The iPhone SE is Apple's budget offering, so we can expect a similar price range to the current SE, which starts at $429 for the 64GB variant, rising to $479 for 128GB and $579 for 256GB. Even if the price increases slightly, it will likely remain more affordable than the flagship iPhone models. In summary, the iPhone SE 2024 promises a fresh design and a larger 6.1 inch display, shaking up the lineup. Are you excited about these changes? Share your thoughts in the comments below as we eagerly await further leaks. Let's enjoy the journey leading up to the official unveiling together. And as always, thank you for joining us. Like and share this content with fellow enthusiasts and subscribe to our channel for more updates and insights into the world of technology.